float. Tractor tipping and the Brazilian combined for eight seconds. That means more push-ups with Flint. 85 and three quarters and tie, he moves to the lead. You know, this guy really is a freak of nature because he has been doing this for a long, long time. And you know, when a guy retires and comes back, that's, that's never usually a good sign. And I do think he's gonna have his work cut out for him this year. But so far here in New York, He's putting them together. Hey, the first one's going awesome, man. <laughs> you know, he, he knows his body better than anybody, and he says he's ready to ride. After watching his good friend Silvano Alves make it to eight, Valderon willed himself to the time limit. One and a quarter points, so not only does he get the ride tied, but he gains points on Silvino. Yeah, and I mean, this is a great ride. He makes all the adjustments. You know, he never had a comfortable seat on this bull the whole way, and it, it's so fun to see athletes that want it so bad and work so hard at it. We've got a world championship race on our hands. And And that is exactly what he needed to put the pressure on Alves. This is what he has to do. And you know, this could really get the ball back to rolling for Valderon. It feels so good to have the time, to have the full eight seconds to get back in the groove and feel what those counter moves feel like and feel what doing it right feels like. There you see Silvano, you know, the, these guys are pulling for you. There he is! Oh, yep. <laughs> This is Valderon at his best. You know, this bull has been knocking guys down right and left. You take the bigger they are, the stronger they are, that doesn't matter to Valderon. This is one of the strongest riders we've seen come down the pike in the PBR, and he just proved it tonight. Valderon can do it, so do it! Help him get there! This is your opportunity to tell him how much you enjoyed that bull ride. As our scores come in, you can see the perfect position as he comes around all the way to the right. New York City, you're going to like this, 88 and a half. So a step in for Valderon de Oliveira, 88 and a half. That rivals J.B. Mooney's score that we saw him turn in last night of 88. And now your new event leader is Valderon de Oliveira for the time being. Feeling it at all here in Billings. Yeah.